Hello, I'm Faris, and welcome to my Geek Vlog. Today I'm going to be talking to actors who have betrayed the Man of Steel and both the DCEU and the DCCW, Henry Cavill and Tyler Hacklin. Now that Superman appears again on TV on the second season of Supergirl, I really have to give you guys my thoughts on both actors on how they perform the iconic DC character, which I'm gonna start with Henry Cavill. Now there are people out there who have mixed feelings about Man of Steel. To me, Henry Cavill's performance on Man of Steel was wonderful. He fully captures the struggles of both Clark Kent and Superman. He is this generation of Superman. People seem to complain that his Superman isn't like what the old fans and critics seem to want. I'll explain why. People forgot that this is the 21st century. This version of Superman is dealing with finding himself as a hero and to inspire. He's dealing with humanity who can accept him. Cavill's Superman is like the Earth-1 comic Superman, where he struggled to find himself to fit in with humanity after his adoptive father, Jonathan, died. Henry Cavill did an outstanding job portraying Superman in his early stages for this new generation. And if you want something like Christopher Reeve, the early comics and animated series, this is the version of Superman I'm going to be talking about to you. First time I heard that Tyler Hacklin was cast on Supergirl, I was thinking that his version would be another TV version of Superman, like Smallville for example. I would have think that Tom Welling might be the right choice. First time I saw the picture of Tyler in the suit was like, nah, I still think he's gonna suck. But then I was proven wrong. Tyler Hacklin's Superman is great and watchable. His Superman is what everyone wanted to see. Like the world accepts him. He has the sense of humanity, he's a team player, he gets along with people, he has humor, he smiles, he's a charmer, and everything he does kind of reminds me like Christopher Reeve. This is the Superman that's like the early days of the comics and animated series. Tyler Hecklin did a great job capturing the Blue Boy Scout. So now that I talk about these both actors who played Superman, should it be really compared which one's better? No! Both of these Superman portrayed in their own ways in their own universe. It should never be compared if you follow both the DCU or the DCCW. I love both of these Superman. If you like the Superman that's struggling in the world with humanity to inspire, you're in this generation and you should go watch Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. If you like the old school version of Superman that's already fit in with humanity, go watch Supergirl Season 2. I know people like to keep on debating or compare both versions of Superman, but until Looper makes this video saying that Tyler's version of Superman is more better than Henry's, their opinion at the end baffles the shit out of me. Sorry Henry, you've been replaced. Replace my ass. So in the end, I've been a DC fan and I've been looking at this character and others deep down in my heart. No matter which version of characters I'm watching, it needs to be well adapted from the right kind of source material. Man of Steel was inspired by Superman Earth-1 and Superman Birthright, and it was well performed. The Superman in Season 2 of Supergirl was inspired by the early days of Superman comics and the animated series which he already inspires humanity and fits well right in. That concludes my opinion on Henry Cavill and Tyler Hacklin's portrayal of Superman. Thank you for watching my Geek Vlog. This is Faris signing out.